Okay. When Kenwood released the R1000, they had a 12 volt option kit as well. And it was the uh, DCK1 kit. I think it stayed the same name right the way through to the R5000. But anyway, we're going to add one of those to the R1000 today. Now the parts aren't all available in line anymore. They're out of stock, discontinued, whatever you want to call it. So we're going to have to make a bit of a hodgepodge. But this is okay. The main part that I've got is made from o by Otec. And it's a two pin socket. It's going to fit perfectly in the back of the radio. And the other main feature is a two pin header cable from a computer. The DCK1 socket fits down here in the aperture cat cut out the back of the radio and as I said that's going to be a perfect fit. The next problem was the cable, the header um, down inside here on the power supply board and I'll show you a picture in a minute is a header that needed to be modified I had to trim it back so as to allow the two pin computer header pin to fit. I also need to work out how much cable to leave over. I've got obviously got too much. And too much is not always a good thing. So I think probably about that should be sufficient. Okay, well I've reinforced the power connector, cable tied it and redoubled heat shrinked it, shrunk it, yeah. Anyway, now we're going to take this little cover off down at the back of the radio. So we might actually have to change point of view. side, I have the radio on its side, so the fitted little bolt doesn't go missing inside of the radio. Because it can be a pain getting little runaway screws and whatnot out of the radio, so you can well imagine. change of venue today. We're actually in the kitchen because it's hot. <laughs> it's quite hot outside. Okie jokey. Now, feed this through here and it lines up, thank goodness. No, I knew it would. got the right tools. And you're on target. Stay on target. Okay. Quite unnecessary Star Wars reference there.
a little bit wibbly wobbly on its side, so be careful you don't knock it flying. Just make sure it's nice and secure. Hence the reason to be careful. So left over you'll have one of these little blank pieces. Blank pieces. Okay then, to determine the orientation of the pins on the circuit, this is not for the squeamish, you gotta be careful because you're now working with a live radio. Take your voltmeter, set it on 40. I'll try and do this so I can see what I'm doing, but I don't because I don't want to short anything out. Now, left pin gives me positive voltage. I drop the leads around. It gives me a negative voltage. Make it safe again. Header. Keep in mind the left pin is positive, right pin is negative, and insert into your modified, and I'll show you a picture now of what's been done to it. Modified header, done. All we need to do is tidy up a little bit. Gotta love cable ties, they're just Special attention to the keyway. Power connector. And seems to be working fine. Seems to be working fine. I don't know if it'll have much of a difference on my noise floor. Being able to power it off 12 volts, batteries, car batteries or whatever, but uh, it'll certainly make any future the expeditions that I've got planned a lot easier. I wonder if I take an inverter with me now. Anyway, thanks for watching.